what is it about this story that inspired both of you? Well, I mean, it's a pretty inspiring story. I think it's, uh, you know, the greatest achievement of humanity, really, you know, where we, we stepped on another planet. So it's a pretty cool story to get to tell. Yeah, I, um, we were talking about this earlier. There's a sort of romance with the NASA program and the moon landing and everything. And um, you feel that growing up. It's like you were saying, it's part of your life in elementary school, even like that. And to get to see the sort of gritty reality behind the romance and the, the, act, the actual things that these families had to go through and that the astronauts had to go through to, to achieve it is uh, very interesting. And meeting Damien and, and seeing his passion for that aspect was really very uh, interesting to me. And what was it about Damien's vision for this movie that excited you as actors? Well, I mean, Damien, number one, he's just an insanely good director. He's very, very cool. You know, it's, it's funny. I hadn't really gotten into a movie in a long, long time until I saw Whiplash. And I didn't know who the director was, but I saw that movie and I watched it over and over and over again. So it was kind of a dream come true to get to work with him because I'm, I'm a massive fan. But he filmed this as if we were actually doing it. I mean, it was completely authentic. There was no cheesiness. There was no fakeness. It was all trying to get at the the essence of what it was and what it felt like and what that experience, uh, you know, was like. So it was just amazing to watch him work. Yeah, it was the, the authenticity for sure. You got a sense of it, like after I got the part, he, he sort of flooded me with all this material I could research. And there were documentaries about NASA and all that, but uh, the ones he really wanted me to pay attention to were these documentaries about um, like Bible salesmen in the 60s and, and teachers and bus drivers and stuff like that. It was like these everyday American people that had this sort of genuine, authentic way of living. And, and the manner in which they spoke to each other and uh, navigated the world and everything like that it was was fascinating. And I was like, this is this is what we're going to focus on, not like this switch flipping or the like vernacular or anything like that. And it was like, he was really looking for the reality of it, which is uh, always super interesting to me. You each play astronauts that history hasn't paid as much attention to as other astronauts. What do you want audiences to know about the two characters that you play? Well, I... Uh, you know, um, we were uh, we were down here at the space center. We went into the astronaut hall of fame, and everybody's. We were here with the whole crew. You know, besides I think uh, uh, Buzz and Neil were not were not here, but all of us uh, all of us were down here, and uh, we went into the hall of fame, and everybody's astronauts were up on the wall, and Elliot C was was not up there because he never never flew a mission, and. Um, and I, uh, I was talking about this before, I felt his absence in that moment, and that's kind of what I wanted to, that's what I was interested in, and that's what I wanted to kind of focus on. It's, uh, you know, I wanted people to miss him too, you know, it gets overlooked a bit. Mm. Yeah, I mean, well, in terms of Michael Collins, I just think he is one of the coolest people alive. He's like super, super interesting, amazing guy. I mean, what he did, what they all did, but reading his book, I mean, please go read his book. It's called Carrying the Fire. It's just fascinating. It's fascinating. And, and these guys are true heroes. And Michael was a hero, is, is a hero. And uh, uh, I'm not sure if that can really come through the film, but it doesn't matter. He, he, he did it, and it's, it's uh, just amazing.